On November the 24th, 1946, several cannon blasts were heard over the Shisha Islands of the South China Sea. The sounds came from a Chinese warship named the Yongxing. It was a declaration that China was taking back the Shisha Islands. In December of the same year, the Zhongye and Taiping Chinese warships arrived at the Nansha Islands, claiming them and stationing there. These islands fell into the hands of Japan during the World War II. When Japan lost the war, the Chinese government took back the Shisha and the Nansha Islands in accordance with the Cairo Declaration and the Potsdam Proclamation signed by China, the United States, and Great Britain. As a matter of fact, the South China Sea had been a maritime home for Chinese fishermen for more than 2,000 years, and the Chinese government was the first to exercise jurisdiction there. It kept on doing so until the invasion of Japan and France at the beginning of the 20th century. The Japanese invaded the Dongsha Islands in 1907, only to be forced away by Li Jun, admiral of the Guangdong Navy of the Qing Dynasty. Two years later, Admiral Li led a fleet to patrol the Shisha Islands and declared sovereignty there. France, which then ruled Vietnam, also wanted the Shisha and Nansha Islands. In 1933, France invaded nine small islands of the Nansha Islands by force and was met with fierce counterattacks from Chinese fishermen living there. The Chinese government launched a protest against the French government and issued a special map of the South China Sea. In 1947, after taking back the islands invaded by Japan during the World War II, the Chinese government renamed and declared sovereignty over a total of 159 islands in the South China Sea, including the Nansha Islands. Meanwhile, the Chinese government also issued a map of the South China Sea and marked the territorial sovereignty and the historical waters in the South China Sea with an 11 dash line. After the foundation of the People's Republic of China, the Chinese government changed the 11 dash line to a 9 dash line in 1953, fine-tuning the location and bringing forth the contemporary boundary of the South China Sea. The Nine Dash Line was recognized by the international community for several decades until the late 1960s, when oil was found there. Countries in the South China Sea began trying to claim sovereignty over the islands there, taking them over and exploiting their resources. The monuments marking the takeover of the Shisha Islands and the Nansha Islands in the 1946 are still standing on Yongxing Island and Taiping Island, bearing witness to history. Despite the turbulence in the South China Sea, history will be an impartial judge.